we had no, we just had like an hour conversation in Discord about immunities and whatnot, and like how difficult it would be to change, and then changing all the items and skills to kind of balance it. And like, ultimately, my point of view is, regardless of change, someone's gonna have an angle to complain about. Like, if you make every skill able to damage monsters. Know, disregarding items and whatnot people are going to find, wouldn't people choose the most damaging skill at that point? Well, Diablo's not going to have that disadvantage like Diablo 3 did, because Diablo 3 had that exact problem, which is there's a mathematical answer that is uh, which scale is the best, because they all use weapon damage. So, of course, if you can calculate sort of the damage rate and the damage percent it does, I mean, it would be kind of hard, but like in D3, it's way easier to say like, okay, this skill is, uh, you know, objectively the best. And nope. Diablo 2, that would always be really hard to do, but... Yeah, and I'm you... just saying in regard disregarding items as well. It's just another layer of difficulty. Right. I, 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 I agree with that. It's only to a point where you, if you really wanted to minimax, like pushing ladder or something like that because then you would need you would take the thing with most AOV and enough damage to do the content but there's still a lot a lot of people just would play what they want to play regardless right which is what what I brought up about the the Poe examples if you make every skill viable if you're, this is and another point of view if your only goal is to push ladder no one is using glacial hammer over most skills to push ladder with Yet yeah. there are still people playing with Glacial Hammer because you can do yeah. it. Yeah, absolutely correct. So it's still viable, it's not viable to push ladder, but you know, someone may want to clear chaos with it or something. Well, that's the idea, right? Is I want to push every skill to be viable so that you can actually finish the, and by finish the game, I don't need no more, I need help. I want every skill to finish the game, obviously. And then this is the fun part about a server like this is that you get these ladders with with patches and meta changes where I can say like, okay, well, you know what, how about we give Glacial, just to use your example, Glacial Hammer, why don't we uh, make it shine this ladder by buffing that skill and then nerfing whatever was at the top last time. And so people who want to just play whatever they want to play, they're still able to, all the all those skills are always going to be viable because we're not, you know, when, we're, when I'm talking about nerfing and buffing, we're just talking about top tier here, we're not, we're keeping them all viable. And then the people who are being competitive, they get to experience new builds because no one knows what the meta is going to be like since the changes might have affected it, right? So the first the first priority is just getting every skill to be viable right now. And then I'm still trying to keep the top stuff in line, but that stuff will come in later. I'll fine tune everything more, but right now there's so many bad skills you can't build around at all. Yeah. Like I mean, I, I tend to don't, I'm not playing elemental skills, but I feel elemental skills are hit the hardest, obviously. All right, well he's here, so I guess I'm gonna just say. Um, okay, so there's a few things, there's a few reasons why. Um, well, first of all, I'll just say this, just because some people think that, some people think that I think. That Diablo 2's uh, immunities is good design, and I I don't agree. I think absolutely the people who say, well, Poe does it, uh, you know, and it works there. I agree. Yeah, I think Poe did it right. And if I were to make my own ARPG, I would obviously not do immunities that way. Uh, so just to get that out of the way. But even though I agree with the design decision of let's move away from that in in modern uh, ARPGs. I think it's fundamental to Diablo 2 because if you just remove the immunity, you disrupt the entire balance. You have to go back and change the balance of the entire game. And that's where, that's an undertaking I don't want to do because now we're starting to mess with Diablo 2 on a way more fundamental level. It's not just, okay, we're removing immunities, which is huge, but then we're also... Um, starting to deal with issues with uh, having too many skill points or um, doing too much damage with one element and things like that. So uh, anyway, to just get into it. So the the devs, and you can ask um, 
uh, David Brevik, he streams. You can ask him yourself. The devs have said that they want people to go dual element to, to find two or more sources of damage. They don't want you to go full fire, full lightning. And that was even more the case before synergies. You have to remember synergies came quite late uh, before there was no synergy, which means when you would dump 20 points and say frozen orb, that was it. That was 20 points into frozen orb. Then you had to pick other skills that work with that in a sort of a naturally synergistic way, but not in an actual damage synergy way. So obviously if you take frozen orb, you would take cold mastery. So they work together, but you, there was no, no like um, ice bolt synergy. So at that point you would go maybe defensive. So you'd like get frozen armor or something like that. And then you'd go to another element. You just had the skill points to do that. So it was already from the start, you would only spend 20 to 40 points into one element, and then you could go 20 to 40 points into the next one before synergies. Now, obviously, they understand that it was, you know, you need synergies to, to just to have something to spend points in because some classes, they still had extra points, right? I mean, even if you go, if you, go uh, you know, you spend 60 points and now you're set, then you, you're still going to have 20, 30 points to spend elsewhere, right? So I, that's what, I think that's why they added the synergies. But it's clear to me that they initially wanted you to go dual element, especially with Sork, because it's so easy for her. The skills are so strong at level 30. So I think it's initial design right off the bat. I got to say, like, I think this is a core design philosophy that they went with. And so if I'm changing it, uh, keep in mind I'm changing a fundamental design is is that how I see it and there's things that we do with this mod that are maybe a little no, I would no, nothing far from vanilla but there, like there are things there are limits that I feel like we never cross we get to the limit but we never cross it and removing immunities is just a line that is just so far from vanilla design that it's not right for this mod in the first place. So when people point to other examples, like uh, other mods that removed immunities, I just think that's beyond the scope of this mod because we're trying to be vanilla, but with more variety, but with more builds, more items to choose from, right? So it's already, I think it's a core Diablo 2 design philosophy, and I think it's beyond the scope of this mod. So that's already two good reasons. But on top of that, I think it actually does break the game. So um, if you, if you, let's say you're, I, I mean, I don't know, are we going to just talk about Sork? Like, let's say you want to do Hydra. So Hydra initially had, uh, you would spend 20 points into your main skill, and then you would put, uh, maybe 20 points into the one synergy. There was only one in vanilla and that would be it. Like, that's it. Imagine there's no immunity. So I, I spent 40 points. Now I have my end game Hydra damage, and um, I can do I can do this in Nightmare, right? Early Nightmare. Uh, I only need to be level forty essentially, well, level fifty or whatever, and then that's it. I'm I've reached my max damage. It would, and 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 there would be no purpose to go to a dual element because there's no immunity. So what am I going to spend my points on? Like that's the problem is. Diablo 2 has a skill tree, and I'm not I'm not planning on removing the skill tree or changing it. So what are the people going to put their points in? Tell me, if you're a Frozen Orb, if you're a Hydra, a sk skills with only one synergy, what are you going to put your points in? And if you... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I can't read and talk at the same time, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the Fire Druid, though, uh, I was saying that earlier, is Fire Druid has dual element in it for other reasons, because that's exactly the point problem. They actually have five skills where you're essentially dumping 20 points in them. So they're capping their skills in one element. So it wouldn't work if it was only fire. It needed to have the fizz synergy 
or the or the fist component uh, because it uses all your points. It's got the full investment. It's got not only are you putting twenty points into five skills, but then at this point you don't yet have oak. You don't you don't have any summons, which I think is, I know I think it's fine for at least a grizzly bear, right? It's thematic to the druid, things like this. Like you haven't spent any points into anything else, and you've already lost all your your points. So it has to have the fizz component. But Sork, generally, you only need one to two skills, maybe three. Um, and then you've got the max damage, whereas Druid is five. So that's why it has the fizz. So people telling me just add fizz to the fire skills, that doesn't make sense. Then I would have to I would have to significantly lower the damage of all the fire skills, then add the fizz component. And then add more synergies so that just like druid it has it costs five skills and that's that goes back to what i'm saying which is the the if you remove immunities i have to rebalance the entire game every skill needs like five synergies every skill needs to do less damage because it now has five synergies it, it, i have to go back and change everything about yeah I, I can actually so. i have to remove infinity i have to, to just nerf to the ground lower resist yeah i I, I agree with conviction. that so if you completely because remove it, you have to do so much hit. Minion will be non-immune, which means that if you don't break the immunity, then you don't get the diminution returns on lower resist and, and conviction, which a lot of people don't seem to understand how that works. Okay, can I? Conviction so, and lower resist doesn't actually do minus one hundred and fifty or whatever. Yeah. If if the guy has a hundred and twenty, and you come in, you don't do one twenty minus one fifty. That's not how it works. As soon as you reach. The 99% you broke his immunity, then there's a significant re reduction. It's about one fifth of the value, I think. Okay, can I so in interrupt quick? Those now will not be hit with diminishing returns. So I'd have to, like, I have to go back, tweak every monster's resist, tweak every skill. Uh, I have to um, tweak all the immunity related stuff. Okay, Green. So one big issue with the, the infinity breaking immunities and all that shit is that because of the base resistances mobs have, they have like so much more cold and fire compared to lightning. Is that like it imbalances the the end game scaling for for the elements, right? Like that's that's what most people have an issue with. Is that you can break lightning pretty much. I think there's like very few monsters that you can't literally break uh, if they get like lightning enchanted and all that shit. But there's so many fire monsters that have a, such a high base resist that you can't break it. And then if they get like enchanted and shit, it's just like you can't. So I think I think a lot of people would be happy with just like uh, making it so that the like the high end resist like the when the moves are immune by base, just lower the the base resist so that it can be brought down, but then then we have the issue that every single element, elemental build would always, without a doubt, pretty much use infinity, right? Yeah, I'm not, I, like, I won't say that there's no room for improvement in the way it is now. What I am saying is there's there's no way that removing immunities is, is going to work in Diablo 2. Yeah, um, I, think, I, think, I think a lot of people don't want immunities completely removed, but just want... No, 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 yeah. no. but yeah. today's topic was definitely that, was uh, someone saying, I don't think there's something wrong with going single element, PoE does that. And yeah, yeah, I, 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 I completely agree. Today. You can't, can't remove it. PoE system does not work right now. Yeah. Not unless you want to just change the game completely. Yeah, I, I completely agree. It's, it's way too big of a rebalancing like yeah, all, every, all all yeah. all items and then like every item that has like penetration and shit like that all like you would have to value like yeah, rebalance the damage values of skills that. and all that yeah yeah every skill needs to not only have five uh, skills worth of like synergistic properties but on top of that the damage has to be so low that you're forced to use the synergies because if we have a situation where you're like oh i do enough damage i don't need it then that's not good because now you have too many points so it, it, the whole thing has to be rebalanced. Like you said, I have to go back to every item, like, um, uh, you know, the Veil, Veil Knight or whatever it's, it's called. Uh, I have to go to Griff, Griffins. I have to, 
everything, even skills like lower resist conviction. I have to change so many things, items, monsters, skills. It's, yeah. There's no way that Diablo 2 can just remove the immunities as it is. Now, if you tell me, oh, X, X or Y mod out there, Diablo 2 mods, I've played one in single player and it has no immunities. Yeah, but guess what? They balance their entire mod around, around that. This is not, that's not the goal of POD. It's, it's beyond the scope. Uh, but again, I, I do agree, though. Path of Exile is way better in that, in that case. I do like how it works in, in POE. Yeah, so what do you what do you think about the the idea or of uh, what's what's the word normalize or whatever the I think it just comes down to the fact that people don't don't um, like they have trouble putting themselves into what it would be like if if it was actually the case. Like it's hard to just imagine it. If I could just tomorrow, if I could just patch it where I remove immunities and then you just play the game. I think after a month, you come back and be like, okay, this doesn't work. Like, some things are just broken OP now. Some things are just awful now in comparison. I don't know. You would just see how awful it is. Yeah, I, I, but yeah, I understand that. that. Usually this debate starts because of Infinity being less effective on fire and cold. But that's also why we did the uh, resist change, where resist can't go below zero. That was a direct nerf to Lightning Sork. It was um, a direct, um, uh, like it addresses directly the issue of um, such high variance or damage. Like uh, Lightning cannot just go exponentially further than the other elements used to. Now it's got that hard cap of like you can't bring it below zero. So you can only do, you know, it's it's pure damage or it's, it's damage values on the skill tooltip. So I think that that may, that was a huge change that I think people don't always understand. I know that when I released that change, people didn't understand how it worked. They thought that I killed poison. And then look at the ladder today. The top necros are all poison. Um, so I, I, you know, I think people just misunderstood the change and don't understand how good of an impact that was. Well, it... Uh... It kind of did uh, hurt other builds that were getting most of their damage from going to minus and all that though, but like I... Yeah, I, but we, we can then fix those, right? It's, yeah, 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 exactly. So then you have to adjust, really adjust yeah. those later. But it doesn't remove the the uh, the issue that a lot of people have with the not be able to kill the immunes even when they go like full retard investing on into the character. Yeah, like what what Carr brought up earlier about physical on attached to Blizzard. Like, like for example, let's say you're attacking a Doom Knight in Chaos with Blizzard. How effective is that physical damage? Does anyone know? No, but, like, is it no, game changing? No, 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 no. It's not because I don't want you to. I didn't add the fizz because I'm like, oh, I want you to go full Blizzard now. No, because then we're back to the issue of, well, yeah, I, I only have one more damage synergy, and then I, I'm, my build is finished. The reason I added the Fizz, there's two reasons. Obviously, one of them, I think, is, well, okay, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but I think it opens up some new stuff that I'm not going to talk about. But also, um, the other thing is just that uh, sometimes when you're rushing someone, you're getting, a, or if you're in a party and there's an immune, I want you to be able to do some damage if because you're using that skill, and that skill is... That's the unique thing about that skill, right? About Meteor and Blizzard. And uh, if you're rushing someone in Nightmare or something, and there's a cold immune, uh, you're actually going to be able to kill it with the fizz damage. But in Hell, it's not going to be... It's, it's going to have no significant, which is good. I, I'm not trying to... I, I still want you to be dual element. That's not a, a true dual element there. I think people misunderstood that change. And uh, honestly, sometimes it makes me regret it because... It's, I don't know. I don't know why it got so much, um, not hate. It wasn't hate, but it was like, people are like, wow, this sucks. It doesn't do anything. But it's just because you guys had hope for it to do something that I didn't intend in the first place. Okay, I think I think I, I have a, like a good question for that. So 
doing the change from 100 minus to zero, what did it, it, uh, what other options did it give other than just plain nerf the uh, lightning sword and a lot, a lot of builds that were like bossing. It puts less reliance on infinity, which is, and it, it, it opens up the, um, it makes it less reliance on infinity and reduces the contrast of damage from the elements so that yeah maybe lightning does more damage than cold but it's not doing a hunt you know a double the damage against uh, versus other elements Do, like two times more damage than it's supposed to it's that's all it's doing it's not trying to open up new builds or something i don't know how you could read that it's, it's... okay i guess i guess that's that's what prop problem people have is that it, it felt like it's basically a straight nerf. I mean, it kind of was. Yeah, well, it, it yeah, is. yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hide it. But first of all, that lightning build. Let's let's be honest here. Let's not pretend like yeah, nerf was, killed it, the build because it was stupid. They yeah. already do so much, stupid, yeah, stupid damage. So, it, yes, it's a direct nerf. It's a direct nerf to infinity. It makes it less reliant, and then it reduces its cost. And maybe now you can make it with another element. Okay, okay, else, okay. So. Makes it less stupid as well. It was it was a, it was a really good nerf for Infinity. I, I I completely agree. But at the same time, because you changed the 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 max value or min value from minus one hundred to zero, builds that they're getting to low resistance monsters without Infinity got hurt at the same time. I guess that's what people have an issue with. No no no. Uh, it it actually affected fewer builds than you think just because of the diminishing returns. I think. Okay. People okay. Always, okay. People okay. people always make it sound like, oh yeah, every build was getting to minus one hundred before, and now it's stuck at zero. Let's yeah, let's that's not, not true. Ourselves, man. Yeah, that's, that's, that's so not, not true. true. There's so few builds that got past zero in the first place. Lightning is the is one of the only ones I think that can go all the way to hundred easily. Well, easily is still relative because you need infinity, but you know what I mean. Like, let's not pretend like. Every build was going way past zero. Maybe one build was going to minus twenty, and now it's stuck at zero. But okay. If that uh, really is an issue, then I'll just give it that twenty percent damage increase. Yeah, I was just like, I was just like, I, I like the chains after the things that also get altered kind of get buffed back, like all, all like physical, basically like amp damage, like it's like minus one hundred. So if monster wasn't fus immune, it was always going to minus fus resist, for example. Uh, Cows have like are they like fifty fire resist or something like that? I think so. A lot of fire builds, like especially like sorks, we're we're downing that resist. Same for like uh, okay, boys and girls still fine. It's, sure, it 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 got damage nerf, but it's still fine. But I guess I guess what I'm now now with this change now that you had done the change that you can't go below uh, zero. What, what do you think about the? I I want to go back to the uh, the uh, the base resistance monsters, right? Because like the the fire mobs have like mobs that are immune to fire usually have a, a lot higher fire resist, so that when they get enchanted and adult, then you can't literally you can't break it even by combining uh, conviction and lower resist. So I guess I, I guess what people really want is when they go for the investment of like could they like they kind of want to be able to do the content if they invest into like infinity and shit like that i guess that's yeah but that yeah. okay so that's the yeah that that's, that brings you to the dual element again right right it brings me to that which is well you want to go single element but i don't want you to because i think of all the all the reasons i explained earlier which is uh, the, the game has to be rebalanced. It's not designed for that. It's clearly intended for you to get dual element, at least as a Sork. As others, it's even easier to get dual element in some ways. Like, for example, if you're in a tech build like Whirlwind, then it's much easier for you to get access to Fizz and other damage because you have so many things that can add to your attack damage. So it, it's always the devs have always intended you to get multiple sources of damage. So if you tell me, hey, I want to just go full fire, then I just have to tell you this mod isn't for you then, you know what I mean? Like, I, it's beyond the scope of this world, you know, this is vanilla here. 
But, but I think I've explained why it, um, why I still disagree with you. Like the, the, even if I was creating my own mod, I might have kept the immunities in just because I think it's such a Diablo 2 thing. Yeah, and also, it's, in a way, I like the fact that depending on what you want to do in the game, like what you want to farm, kind of dictates the build, but at the same time, I mean, it is limiting, right? It's it's, it's just, it is limiting without the, like, you can't really argue that, but uh, and a lot of people see that as a bad thing, right? I want to do X, why can't I do it with, with C build? Yeah. But like he's saying, like, uh, some builds have it easier, but right? he's trying to say, like, well, if I go bone necro or tornado druid, I breeze through the content. Yeah. That's true, and so maybe those builds need a nerf, or maybe other builds need a buff. It, like the balance isn't perfect right now, and I'm not I'm not finished, right? I know it's I've been working on it for two years, but there's still so much balance to do. But that doesn't change the fundamental of what I'm saying, which is uh, I'm not going to remove the immunities for the good reasons that I explained earlier. But if you're telling me, okay, then if you're not removing those immunities, then fire needs a buff. Then yeah, okay, now we're talking. I can. I can absolutely buff a fire skill if I, if I think it needs it. Well, I, I was only talking about removing immunities. If you want to talk about balance between the classes, then yeah, I'm, I'm there's a hundred percent. I agree that there's some, there's definitely like fire was a weaker a version, a weaker tree for the sork, absolutely, and that's why I made the hydra change. I think the hydra change allows you to go fire more. You still have to go dual element, which is fine. I, I think that's great. But uh, even Hydra before, it was only single target. Yeah. So now you have actual options of fire. I realize that Hydra is probably the only thing. Like Meteor is not very popular. Yeah, I was about to uh, come there. Enchant is just a different story. It's just a different build, and that already has easily a uh, dual element. So yeah, I know fire is the, definitely the weaker tree for Sork. Yeah. I but also... We, yeah. I, I think... I think you, what, what I would like to personally see is being able to go hybrid more use with lightning, but I think I think the reason for you not making lightning too easy to, easy to go like dual is just because of the infinity in the game, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place for the lightning. It's, it's, that's why infinity hurts design space and that's why I, I did the uh, resist change. Is yeah, you're like what well, people are like. Yeah, but the resist change is a direct nerf. Yeah, it is because there's there's an dish issue with the, the the design space, right? I can't I can't buff lightning. I can't make it easier to be dual element. I can't. I'm scared to add new lightning skills because every time I I go near lightning, I think, oh my god, this could explode in my face and just be the most broken thing, right? It, it's hurting design space. But with this change to the resist. Um, uh, lightning is less scary now, and so that's you, know, you saw me reduce the the cooldown of uh, discharge so that it's uh, more usable as a as a full on skill, right? That's one of the examples of me saying, okay, well now I'm less scared of discharge. Like I've I've reduced the um, the top end, so to speak, of how much damage you can do with it through infinity and through its scaling. So like it's there's more and more room now. It's, it's getting more and more interesting. Here's a thought. Like as of currently with Infinity, Lightning Sorks are top tier of the classes, right? With Infinity, you would say. So uh, I think some sort of players would disagree, but I yeah, it's. Definitely well, I mean, fun. like the in regards to clearing content, you know, like Homeboy wants to go Act One normal to Act Five Hell. You know, if you have an Infinity in your backpack, Lightning's going to get you there much faster, I would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's just for some people will say, well, if I'm Meffing or if I'm doing the Pit or Ancient Tunnels, then Lightning's not going to be the fastest. But yeah, it really depends on the content. All right. Now, let's say the Infinity was removed and then... You know, disregarding the amount of work you would have to have to balance the trees together. But like, let's say infinity is removed, you know, immunity still exists and they have to contend with them. But, right. but now, but now we can get into dual element skills, right? So maybe a lightning skill could have lightning and fire. And then maybe a fire skill could have fire and cold. 
No, no, no. I don't want to build the element into the skill unless it does. Maybe I misunderstood you, but are you saying add yeah, fire damage to a lightning skill? Yeah, but what I'm saying is, you know, disregarding the amount of the damage numbers and values, it would still allow people to spec in the lightning to get some lightning damage, but a little bit of fire, but not enough to really contend, maybe. Okay, well, f first of all, I'll just, uh, this is kind of unrelated anyway, because I still disagree, but I'll just say that um, for some odd reason, the devs made it so that you can't have a spell that has two elements. It can have fizz, it can have an element, and that's it. So, oh. yeah, I know it's retarded. The, if, if I make a skill, uh, like a, a Fist of Heaven is unique in that only the, it's got two components. It's got the skill damage and then the um, extra missile damage. So the, the zap is lightning, but then it creates missiles and the missiles have a different element because it's handled, the damage is handled in the missiles a spreadsheet. But if I make a skill, like let's just say I take a fireball, fireball cannot have cold damage on it. It's just, it's actually impossible. But yeah. um, so, uh, but even disregarding that limitation, let's say I could do what you just said. First of all, I disagree with it completely because the skill trees are thematic, they're elemental. It doesn't make sense for me to get fire damage from a lightning skill tree in the first place. But also, what's the point? I could just, if, if I removed infinity, I would make all this lightning skills have one, maybe one less synergy so that you can then take those 20 points and go into another element. Why would I free feed you the fire damage on a lightning skill when I can instead give you 20 points and say, go spend it how you want to? So... That's so, that's the way I would approach that instead. Yeah, my, my logic of you know going down this path is like let's say you know the uh, mana drain lightning dudes and chaos. Like let's say you know without infinity, your lightning damage is going to do zero to lightning immune. But let's say if it could have done some type of fire damage, it would have killed it. It would have took it much longer than what you know a base fire skill would have. Yeah, but it's the same thing. If I say. Okay, here, instead of doing what you just said, I'm giving you 20 points. Go spend it somewhere in the fire tree. And when you see that immune monster, just hit, you know, whatever your button is, F3, switch skills, start casting. It's going to be slower. Same thing, exactly the same thing you just described. But instead, I gave you 20 points to use as you please. You're making your own build. You're making your own decisions. And the result is identical. Whereas if I give you the damage on the skill, that... First of all, it's, it's not even thematic. It doesn't make sense. But right. also, I, I'm choosing for you. That does that's not cool. Right. If you're trying to personalize, if you want people to personalize their builds, correct. You want them to be the lightning sword. You want them to be the fire or cold. Right. Like what? Like so. Let's say we're using lightning surge as an example. You're saying add fire to lightning surge. Well, why don't I just give you 20 points and say go and fire and pick fire bolt or fireball. By the way, Firebolt does a lot of damage endgame because I I made it where the synergy scale much higher on low-level skills. So it would be still slow to kill a monster with Firebolt, but, you know, or Fireball or whatever you want to do. Hydra is good too, even though it's AoE and more now. Great single target. Like do whatever you want with those 20 points and then kill the monster. It's going to be slow, but hell, it's going to work, you know? Like I, to me, that makes way more sense. I just think people need to stop comparing the sword to other classes. Like she was built purposely with the idea that you'll get two elements, maybe even three, because honestly, it's not. It wouldn't be surprising that the devs wanted you to get three elements when you look at the game before synergies existed. Just think about that. Twenty points and your skill is done. That was crazy. Right. I mean, my philosophy. I'm. I'm not against roadblocks rather be items or in a creature that's entirely immune to you like sometimes you're just going to roll up on those you know rare monsters that are fire cold lightning immune and you're just gonna have a real bad yeah and then like for when example you, when you get the double you that's when you got to get creative and start using uh other skills uh for right, example or using static and then gearing your merc um you know things like that uh maybe you've got um a skill, uh, an item that gives you charges to another skill, 
or you know whatever like that's when you got to get more creative but there even there there's still options or you can get a lower resist wand on your offhand like there's there's choices there still right and like i'm I'm totally under the impression that if you were just to spreadsheet immunities out of the game you would have a nightmare of a game just looking at items and skills it would be incredibly impossible yeah Yeah. like for example like i'm not exactly playing pod because of the insane balance or the changes or because necro and druids can teleport i'm playing it because it's kind of like diablo it's fun new changes patches that's all good and nice and i mainly play hammered in i play hammered in because hammered are super op and they were nerfed in pod but they don't get that nice teleport so the progression of you know of the hammered in it's kind of difficult in some parts. It can't smash out, you know, bail runs because there's some magic immunes. Act two is pretty difficult. I'm kind of accepting that. Playing the hammer. And I'm so it's, it's you know, if it was wide open, immunities were broken. What would be the sense of playing a hammer then? You know, then other some teleporting class that can clear all content. Which is what right. I was trying to, you know, the point so, I was trying yeah. to make in chat. What you're saying is like, oh, um, I don't, I don't want to go dual element. I want to go single element, so I'm picking magic, and at the cost of, you, you know, know it's teleport. Right, right, right. Yeah, I get that. And the, first of all, let's also remind ourselves that Hammered In was absolute garbage, hard to play until you got Enigma in vanilla. If you don't have Enigma, it was trash anyway. But now. In uh, POD, the only real nerf to it is that it's two-second teleport. And actually, because you can get Convocation, or sorry, not Convocation, um, Dashing Strike, you can actually have a more enjoyable experience with Hammered In before the Enigma. Oh, yeah, uh, absolutely. And so, and then when you have the Enigma, yeah, there's a two-second uh, nerf there. But honestly, that it, it kind of needed that. As for damage, uh, we've actually undone all the... I think we've undone pretty much all the nerfs to Hammer did. Its damage is very, it's probably identical, if not very close to vanilla now. But that's oh. because I recognize that um, the Enigma change alone was, you know, harsh enough, you know what I mean? But yeah, the, I think the damage is almost back now. Well, I thought, I mean, I don't, I don't know if we did that change, but the last two seasons, I thought it was just fine for what I, how I wanted to play it. I don't know. I don't. I don't mean that next patch is ch- is changing again. I just mean that um, some people think that hammer hammer's damage got nerfed because if you if you read the patch notes starting from patch one, then yeah, hammer didn't ha- um, the hammers have been nerfed. But if you keep reading all the patches, you can see that I've slowly reverted all the nerfs and damage, just to because it is, there's a lot of uh, misconception about that one. Uh, it should do about the same damage as vanilla now. But yeah, the big nerf is Enigma, obviously. Uh, it, it's a fair nerf. If you actually play with uh, with Enigma, I think two seconds is pretty reasonable considering the power level. So I guess the too long didn't listen for the uh, immunities and shit. Is that you don't wanna? It would it would mean that you have to rebalance the whole game again. And that you don't, right. and you think it would drive away from the, uh, I guess the essence of the or I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, how you it goes against it goes against their design decision. It's and it requires an entire rebalance of item skills and uh, um, monster resist. And it it it's a counter. It's a design that doesn't work well with skill trees, uh, because of the how, like the fact that you'll have too many points to spend or not enough or whatever. Uh, so in Poe, because there's no skill tree, well there well there is, but you know what I mean, with the skills, uh, they it's less of an issue as well. I mean, yeah, you you could make it work, but again, that would be like the balancing of the skills. So, <laughs> yeah. right, right. Like you would have to you would have to basically completely like destroy like peers, I think. Yeah, I can only see it as being as a gigantic nightmare. And even after all of that said and done, like someone, it's going to be off or not, because someone's going to find a reason to complain 
and not use a certain tree because of this and that. There's still going to be feels bad man moment. That's fine because there's so many in vanilla. Think about right. all the skills you've never touched because they either don't work or because you don't like them. Like if we can have the same amount of builds as vanilla uh, that are um, vi viable, but uh, and then we add even just one more, then that's already objectively a better experience for build others. Okay? And every patch I try and add more. POD has just... definitely more build timers than one. Oh yeah, it has much more. But I'm just saying, like that's a step in the right direction, even if it doesn't change the top meta. Right, it's still right. A, a, a net positive, and every patch I try and at least get one more build viable. I don't always do it, but you know I always push in that direction. And then when people are like, "Oh, but the top of the ladder is still playing uh, X build," that's okay. Like I'm not, you know, we're not trying to make a POD in esports here. Right now, we're just trying to make more builds possible so that if a player is like, "Oh, I want to come back and play D2 after not playing for ten years." Uh, let's see, what do I feel like making? Okay, this skill. I want them to be able to pick that skill and play it to hell and not have to go, oh shit, this doesn't work, I gotta respect it and change my plan. Right now, that's my priority. 